Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and we've got another unboxing. This is the Acer Aspire 1, uh, the new version of it for 2018. And this one is configured very similarly to the one we just looked at from HP, the HP Stream. And it costs the same. It's got the N4000 chip, four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. But the difference on this one is that it has a 1080p display in a 14 inch size for the same price as the uh, HP Stream has with only a 720p display. Uh, so we'll be taking a full look at this on my main channel at lon.tv very shortly and we'll have a full review of it. So this is the laptop here. Oops, I just knocked my camera out of the way there. Sorry about that. Um, this is the laptop here and it actually has a lot more screen movement here than the HP does as well. So you don't have a true uh, two-in-one, but look at the hinge on this thing. It goes all the way down like that. So it's definitely got some uh, added flexibility there. So a little bit more flexibility and perhaps damage prevention on the display. On the side here, it's got some things the HP didn't have either, including an Ethernet jack here. We'll take a look and see whether or not that's gigabit or not. HDMI out, USB 3, full-size SD card slot there. And on the other side, we've got a USB, uh, looks like two USB 2.0 ports over here, a headphone, microphone jack, and power that goes in there. Uh, this is fanless like the HP. Again, it's running with the Gemini Lake processor. We'll do some performance comparisons as well. And we'll have a full review of this coming up very soon on that main channel. And it might be a better value, dollar for dollar, than the HP is. A couple of things in the box here is just the power adapter and the cable to go with it. All right, here's the inside. I should add, by the way, this came in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program. However, nobody is paying for this review, nor has anyone reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. Uh, so inside here, we have no real path to upgradability. I suppose you could swap out the uh, wireless card here. It looks like it's got one of those... A little PCI slots in this thing. So you might be able to maybe get some storage working over there, but generally the uh, storage and RAM are not going to be upgradable on this device at all. Uh, the HP did have the ability to swap out the RAM, but this one does not appear to have that available as an option there. It looks like they have some empty room here in the case, so there's probably some variations of this machine in different regions, but this one here in the U.S., uh, appears to be not upgradable at all. So I'm going to put this back together now. We're going to have a full review coming up very soon on the main channel at lon.tv, so stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Bill Reiner, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.